Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be integrating our security gateway with our management server using the SIC, okay, it's the SIC. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you're coming back for some fun and learning, let's have some fun. So on the right hand, on the left hand side here, I have my firewall one, which is gateway one. And then I have my management server, which we're logged into right now. Uh, just make sure you're logged into your smart console and we're gonna get this uh, ball rolling, All right? So first things first, when you hit uh, gateways and servers, you should probably have one right now, which is your management server. So in order to add, we can go up here, go to new, we're gonna add a new object, more, network object, okay? In network object, we have gateways and servers, and then choose gateway, okay? So we can do the classic mode. That's fine with me. So once you have this up and running, we're just gonna fill in the blanks, right? So what is my name? So I'm just gonna make it the same as over there. So it's CP security gateway dash firewall one, zero one. I'm just going to name it that. And my IP address will be 10.2.21.1. I don't have an IPv6 address. I don't have anything like that. So we have the secure uh, internal communication, which is a SIC. So what we do is hit communication here. And once we hit communication, we have to input that one-time password that we set up when we initially set up the gateway. If you remember that, hopefully you do. If you don't, Sorry, I don't know what to say. So let's go ahead and I want to establish mine. And go ahead and we can initialize this. Let's see if make sure it all is good to go. Trusted established. So we are good here. So we can also test the six status. Once we test it, we can see it is communicating, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and hit close here. Choose OK. And we'll give this a few moments. And these are the actual, let's see if I can, uh, I can't rearrange them, but these are the IP addresses from our, let me see if I can pull up the topology. So here's our topology. So we have ETH zero that's sitting right here. And then we have ETH one that's sitting over here in the server farm, ETH two that's in the DMZ, ETH three, which is our WAN, which is going out to the internet in my case, okay? So we can go ahead and hit close here. We're good. Everything is good. So once we hit OK now, we can see, let's give this a minute to do its thing. Then a new object is going to show up here. So we'll give this a few moments to establish full connection. So the next thing, we can see the session right up here, right? We have 12 uh, little... Uh, little things that we have to do publish. So let's go ahead and publish these 12 changes and go ahead and publish that. Once we publish it, this may take a few moments. Once this is done, we have to install the policy next. So let's go ahead and install policy on the top left-hand corner here. And then we're gonna go ahead and install once it gives us the option to install. So let's give this a moment. This is pretty fun. I enjoy Checkpoint. Uh, I haven't used Checkpoint in quite a few years, but, but yeah, this is, uh, this is cool. All right, so let's go ahead and install this. We'll give this a few moments. And once this is established, the, everything will come up here. Now we have full communication between our firewall and our gateway. So this is how you see it in the real world. When you're in the real world, uh, when you're not labbing stuff up, you're gonna be in here into the smart console, seeing all the policies, all your stuff in here, your NAT policies, obviously we don't have any yet, but soon come, we'll, we'll, we'll mess around with that. We're still in the gist of getting our server and firewalls up and running, communicating, getting out to the internet. So you can see recommended updates. We can see the update that's um, asking for. So we can go ahead and click on that and, and, and see. But, but right now we're gonna go ahead and minimize that. And yeah, so this is the gist of getting the communication between the gateway and the management console or the management server. 
So hopefully this has been informative for you guys. I really appreciate all the support watching my videos. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the description below. And until next time, have an awesome and beautiful day. Thank you.